hey what's going on guys I hope you guys are doing good today and in this video we are going to learn Bulma in just 10 minutes this is an introductory tutorial to the popular CSS framework so Bulma is a popular CSS framework it is similar to bootstrap if you have bootstrap then you can easily understand this framework and you can get started with this it's a simple elegant and modern CSS framework with a bunch of different and beautiful UI components and a lot of developers prefer this Bulma framework over bootstrap so we can see how we can get started with this so let's jump to the documentation of Bulma that is bulma.io if you visit this documentation then you can uh, see the installation process first if you want to get started with this then you need to run this command this npm command on your terminal or if uh, if you want to use a CDN link for this then you can grab the link from here so I have uh, taken the CDN link in my HTML file here I have pasted here you can see the minified version of Bulma so in this video I'm gonna show you how we can create some beautiful different UI components it is similar to bootstrap as I said earlier so we have different things like columns layouts forms and and you can use mixins functions as well so we are not going in depth we can see the overview of Bulma and we can see how we can actually get started with this framework so in Bulma we have two main things that are modifier classes if you uh, see the modifier section here right here you can see two modifier classes that are is and has I'll show you what it is so let's get started with the Bulma framework so now I'm gonna create a simple button with the class button so if we hit tab and let's just say click here save it and let's see the preview inside the browser as you can see here click here button appears on the screen and we have different classes like if you want to give some colors some background colors to the button you can use is success as I said earlier is and has are modified classes so is success means let's just refresh this and you can see the green color button appears on the screen so it gives the background color or uh, green background color to the button this is success class this is a modifier class right now I want this to be a large button so I'll just say is large so that it so it, it is large button right now I want this to be in the round shape let's say is rounded save it and you can see the rounded button has appeared on the screen now let's move forward and let's see the columns inside the Bulma so columns and rows are the important part of a responsive design so let's just create a column right with the diff columns I'm gonna say columns and inside these columns I want four columns so diff with the class column uh, I'm gonna say this is as a first column sorry first column and I want four columns so I'll just pay copy this same column and I'll just paste it four times so let's change it to second and this to third and this to fourth save it and let's see the preview inside the browser as you can see here only the text is appearing and we cannot even see uh, the outline of the columns and the width of the columns so for that we need a special class of Bulma that is notification class if you head over to the documentation if you go in depth you can see the notification notification class so let's remove this text from here let's take a p tag a paragraph tag and let's give a notification class to this p and you can say is success I want this uh, column this first column to be in green color so that's why I am using the 
is success class modify class of Bulma let's remove this text second column and uh, let's say let's just say is info and I will change this first column to the second and I want this uh, I want to change this success class to the warning class so we have different colors and we have different um, multicolor columns on the screen uh, finally we have a danger class let's just say fourth column save it and let's see the preview inside the browser as you can see here we have four different color columns so success info warning and danger so here we have a notification class that is actually uh, making the columns larger and it looks beautiful on the screen so let's move forward and let's see the hero how we can create a hero in Bulma hero is just a simple section with a color and we have also uh, a text inside the hero so for that we need to take a section tag of HTML and let's give hero class and take one div tag and let's say hero body right inside this hero body you can say this is a hero right save it and you can see it the text is appearing on the screen but I want before going further I want to show you something important about columns you can uh, make the columns larger or you can give any width to the column by using the classes we have different classes like I want the first column this first column to take the half width of the screen of the row so I'll use the class here is half save it let's see yeah you can see here it takes the half width of this row of the column right you can see the first column is taking half width uh, now I want the second column to take the one-third width of the row so let's save it and you can see the two columns the third and the fourth is not responsive because it is taking much space if we if we remove this is half from the first column the yeah you can see here and the columns are responsive if you make your browser screen small you can see here the res uh, these are responsive columns and you can easily align these columns on mobile and tablets so let's m go further we have different classes like is two thirds or is one third is one quarter you can use it and you can explore more about this on the Bulma documentation I'm not going in depth so let's remove this classes this modifier classes from the columns and let's see the hero part now so this is a hero it's just a text right I want this section this hero section to be in uh, green not in green I want this in blue color so I'll use this is info class here and I'll refresh the page you can see here is info class is has been applied to this hero section and the blue color is appearing on the section and now I want this to be a medium size hero right so let's save it yeah you can see here this is a medium size hero it is very cool and you can create responsive UI components and if you head over to the documentation you can get a bunch of uh, UI beautiful UI components now I want this to be a large right so let's just save it yeah you can see here the large hero is appearing on the screen so let's change this change this to medium and let's remove this text here I want the h1 tag with the class title this is also a Bulma class title and this is my hero right and I want the h2 tag with the class with the class subtitle yeah 
this is also a uh, Bulma class uh, sub heading you can say so let's re uh, preview the change in the browser yeah you can see here this is my hero and the subheading is appearing as a subtitle so this is all about Bulma and I hope you guys really enjoy this video if you do then if you did then you can give a big thumbs up and you can share this video with your friends please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned with latest uh, updates of uh, web technologies if you want to watch some uh, mobile development videos then you can check my playlist on ionic 3 thanks for watching this video and i'll see you soon